Hello students, some days back I made the video on the complete subject wise weightage analysis of EC. Okay, and now this is the video for electrical students since many of the electrical aspirants are also asking about it. So yes guys, you know, and it, it's, it's important also because for any exam, competitive exam, be it gate or ESC or anything, you have to make your strategies. Okay, okay, you have to, you know, identify the, you know, more weighted areas. Okay, so that you practice more there, you get, you know, uh, you know, really strong on those areas. And in double E branch, definitely you have some subjects which are low weightage. If, if you talk about EC, almost all the subjects okay are having decent good weightage okay but in branch like double e there are okay set of subjects which have very small weightages okay and the rest of them are having very good weightages okay so there it is very necessary to identify and especially if a subject is a very less weighted subject but takes more amount of time to cover the syllabus yes syllabus may be more but weightage is less so there you have to be smart maybe you can push those subjects to the end and etc so let's start talking about the weightage analysis i've done the weightage analysis for you okay for the past 15 years as well as for the past five years okay because you know the recent trends are more uh, you know predictive about what can happen next okay and i've taken you know, like last five years as well as last 15 years the idea behind 15 years is i've taken it from 2010 because 2010 is the year from which the 65 question pattern is there until date the same pattern is there 65 questions 100 marks and uh, yes guys before i talk about the electrical weightage for just a minute you all know but for just a minute let us quickly uh, go through okay the important parts about the gate 100 marks okay so that you identify at least how much weightage is for technical and out of that technical then i will go in depth okay ki how much weightage will be there for every technical subject okay so now as you all know general aptitude 15 marks i'll just quickly go through it okay comprising of the four areas quant analytical aptitude as that is logical reasoning spatial aptitude it's like non nonverbal reasoning and verbal ability okay so general aptitude since 2010 fixed weightage 15 marks there isn't any change and coming to the next one is engineering mathematics from 2021 they have fixed the weightage of engineering maths also that is 13 marks okay uh, this maths will comprise of six to seven different chapters and now it is a very critical success factor for top rank why do i call it as critical success factor the simple idea is number one the weightage is good you will once i show you the weightage of technical subjects you will see that okay maths has more weightage than each and every technical subject that you have okay so number one weightage Okay, and number two, if you are strong in maths, you become a good engineer. That's what I always believe. If someone is very good in maths, okay, or maybe if you are weak, you work hard and make your goods, make yourself good in maths, then definitely you will be very smooth in technical. Otherwise, you have to put a lot of effort in technical because everywhere in any area of technical, you need complex number analysis, you need differential calculus, maxima, minima concept, especially. Uh, you need integral calculus, it's like heart of engineering, you need differential equations, each and everything you need it. Okay, so you know that that makes you really you know the, you smooth in technical syllabus. Okay, now you see fifteen and it uh, you know thirteen twenty eight is itself that should be something scorable for engineers. Okay, if you are already strong into it, very good. Otherwise, you know with small efforts, this twenty eight marks can be grabbed. Small effort means the effort required to study maths or even aptitude individually. Okay is less than what is a uh, effort required to study any technical subject so with less effort you can conquer more marks and gate is an examination where they don't have individual cutoff for non-tech or tech out of 100 you have to maximize your marks so these are the areas where you can really maximize now technical i'll open up 72 marks is the technical syllabus and there are around 8 to 10 subjects depending on branch to branch okay depending on branch to branch so let's talk about the 72 marks in more detail yes this is what i've, I've told you that since 2010 i have done the homework for you Okay, so have a look into it. All the subjects are included like electric circuits that you can call, also call it as a network theory, signal and system, machines, power system, control system, measurement, analog electronics, digital electronics, electromagnetics, power electronics and maths and aptitude. Okay, so now if you have a look into, you know, the network circuit, sometimes, you know, unexpectedly it can go high as well. Okay, like 17, that depends randomly. IIT Delhi made this paper. Okay, sometimes I think 14 as well. Okay, but... Uh, to summarize, uh, you're getting somewhere around 8 to 10 marks most of the time uh, from the networks. I will show you the average marks also. Okay, just wait for it. Signals, okay, uh, you know, uh, around 8 to 10 most common trend. Last two years, 11, 11. Okay, and the weightage of signals definitely has increased for double E guys over the last few years. Okay, it's around, uh, around uh, 9, 10 marks for signals easily you expect now. Machines being a core subject, easily around 10 marks is the expected expectation from machines. Although in some particular years, it can be as high as like 14. Okay. Power system also similar trend around 10, 11 marks, uh, you know, or sometimes 9 as well. Mostly on the similar trend lines, no distinguishing feature. Control system again around, you know, 8 to 9 marks is what you see most of the years. Sometimes it goes up to 10 as well. 
measurement is especially if you took see usually earlier it was coming up to five four to six marks but if you look into the usual trends it's two to three marks just one or two questions okay okay so uh, this is something for electrical uh, you know where you can push this subject at the end because you know you have to give time for it it's not like two mark subject you can study in one day time is required by the subject okay but uh, the weightage is very low analog uh, around you know five to six marks usually so, so for electrical actually if you see the syllabus analog and digital electronics is one subject i have bifurcated it into two parts okay so uh, you know uh, digital around uh, three to four marks or you know sometimes it goes up to six as well electromagnetics usually these days if you talk five to six marks it is coming up sometimes it goes up to seven as well okay power electronics being one of your core usually regularly expected around 10 to 11 marks Okay, 10 to 11 marks or at least 9 marks, something like that. Maths, don't look into the previous years because now the recently the weightage has been fixed as 13 as I told you. Okay, and uh, GA is fixed. Now, more important is, see, I'll, I'll just move away and if you want, you can take the screenshot. Okay, so that complete data is with you. You can take the screenshot of this particular slide and now let's talk in terms of the average. Okay, I have shown you the individual years. So, if I just highlight the average here for you. Okay, average I have again bifurcated last 15 years and last 5 years. Okay, so uh, network, uh, if you talk about last five years trend, around eight is the average, otherwise it used to be uh, around 10 marks. Okay, signal and system used to be around eight and a half, but now it's uh, nine and a half to 10. It's, it's, I told you recent year signals weightage is increased and it will be on similar trend lines only for the upcoming years, let me tell you, because many uh, of the electrical engineering courses in higher education also demanding the signal uh, knowledge and signal processing. Machines around 10 marks, whether you look into five years or 15 years pattern, power system around nine marks, I can say, Control system, uh, it's around 8.5 to 9 marks. I mean, like, like, like you can expect around 9 marks. Measurement, as I told you, 15 years, it was still 3.53. But, you know, last 5 years, it's around 2 marks of weightage. Okay. Analog electronics, uh, you know, uh, around 6 marks. So, analog and digital, you combine around 10 marks of weightage, definitely you expect. Because that is one subject for you. Out of which, mostly 5 to 6 analog and around 4 marks of digital, you can expect. Okay, electromagnetics, recent years, if you see uh, around 5 to 6, as I told you, this is expected from electromagnetics. Power electronics around 9 to 10 marks is what you expect. The exact average value is written. Okay, and mathematics, and, see, this is the average written. Okay, you look into it slightly less because 2020 might also be included. But, you know, don't count this average. It's 13 marks. That's what you should be uh, really focusing on. Okay, now, dear, now, dear, because we have the weightage analysis for 15 years and 5 years, see, Eventually, I tell you that if you have to be in the top zone, you have to conquer each and every subject. You should go through each and every subject, be it measurement as well. We, we can push it at the last, no problem. Okay, because topper is greedy for each and every mark. Topper is all. I have I've seen, I have myself been a topper in exam and I have seen several students over my journey. Okay, they are hungry even for one mark. So, that hunger should be there for you. But at the same time, strategy has to be there. So, uh, you should know the important subjects. You should put more weightage on that. You should put priority into it. Okay, but don't skip. Okay, but yeah, this weightage analysis is important. Sometimes it happens with students, they are not able to cover the complete syllabus. Worst case, then you should be aware about, you know, okay, where you have to focus more. Okay, if you have less time, okay, and then you start spending time on measurement and if you miss a subject like, uh, say, for control system, that's something which we can call it as a foolish act. So that is why, you know, this can make you smart. Okay, what should be your act? But again, I repeat, to be in the top zone, prefer, okay, prefer going through all the syllabus okay going through all the syllabus but make the priority as per the weightage okay definitely make the priority as per the weightage okay i'll also make one more video for you where i'll tell you not only weightage is important sometimes some subjects has prerequisite so i'll also make a video where i'll talk about sequence of subject what normally uh, you know the sequence you should follow while starting gate preparation okay because you know if you are poor in networks and if you directly go to core subjects network is helpful in many areas okay so that also is not smart Okay, so you have to be very comfortable in subjects like network or electric circuits. That is your first subject mentioned here. Okay, now based on this weightage, okay, of the last 5 and 15 years, what are the top 5 most weighted technical subjects? I'm, I'm highlighting technical subjects. Okay, and they are very clearly, it is uh, evident from the uh, previous slide that machines, power electronics, power system, signal and system, and control system. See, control systems or network are almost... You know, almost, almost similar weighted subjects. Okay, similar weighted subjects. Okay, so I can put it as, if I put it as six, signal and control, I will almost put it as equal. Okay, but these are definitely having the higher weightages. Machines, power electronics, power system, signal and system. Okay, control and network. So three of them are real core areas. Okay, so that means, okay, you have to at any chance focus on the core area. Okay, now many students, okay, 
if you talk about any topper electrical topper they will be always strong in the core area without being strong in the core area you can't be the topper okay you may get some qualifying marks but you know to have to be topper you have to be really strong in the core areas okay at the same time you don't have to miss the common areas as well okay like sometimes many students you know just avoid signals or some subject like that okay signals or digital okay digital although less weightage for electrical but it is very easy See, as I told you, digital around 4 to 5 marks, but for electrical, the level that comes for digital is very straightforward. I will say just Laddu, bonus questions. So, th that also you have to look into, okay, very easily you can get those marks. But subjects like signals control should not be compromised because they have relatively decent weightage. Okay, so I hope this video gives you a clear insight about electrical weightage analysis over the last few years. Okay, so that you can make your strategy accordingly. Thank you and if you have any doubts, please do mention in the comment box. If you like the video, if you get this in, uh, you know, information useful for you, do not forget to press your attendance yes by hitting the like button. Hit the like button. All the very best for your gate preparation. Thank you so much.